column how to solve this problem we have n power 2 divided by 9 power 2 and this equals 9 power 2 divided by n power 2 so we can easily cross multiply meaning that the n power 2 multiply n power 2 and 9 power 2 multiply 9 power 2 so let's cross multiply n power 2 times n power 2 we have n power 2 times n power 2 and this equals 9 power 2 times 9 power 2 now we can express this as n power 2 raised to the power of 2 and this equals here we can express this as 9 power 2 raised to the power of 2 now at this point we can move this over here it becomes minus i have n power 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 9 power 2 raised to the power of 2 and this equals 0 now i have power 2 here i have power 2 here i have minus here i can make use of difference of two squares if you have a power 2 minus b power 2 this equals a minus b times a plus b and in this case our a equals n power 2 and b equals 9 power 2 so let's apply right there so we are going to have a minus b that is n power 2 minus 9 power 2 times a plus b we have n power 2 plus 9 power 2 and this equals 0 so the next thing we can do is to equate each of these to 0 i can start by equating i have n power 2 minus 9 power 2 equals 0 or i also equate this n power 2 plus 9 power 2 equals 0 so let's solve each of these equations so let's start with this i can simply move this over here f n power 2 equals 9 power 2 taking this and crossing over so to solve for n i can decide to take the square root of the part of this equation this cancel this i have n equals this will give me plus or minus 9 because this cancel this and we are dealing with square root so at this point i have two values for n i have n1 equals positive 9 i also have n2 equals negative 9 now let's come over to this other part of the equation we have n power 2 plus 9 power 2 equals 0 I take this over here i have n power 2 equals minus 9 power 2 i take the square root of the power of this equation i have square root of n power 2 equals square root of this is negative 9 power 2 this cancel this i have n equals for this there is minus here i can have square root of negative 1 times square root of 9 power 2 so what happens here is that we have n equals square root of negative 1 will give me i times this cancel this i have plus or minus 9 so right now i'm going to have n equals plus or minus i times 9 so i have two complex values again so i'm going to have n equals i times 9 this is my entry and i also have n4 equals negative i times 9 so those are the four different solutions two real solutions and two complex solutions now the next thing we can do at this point will be to check for each of these values of n i have n1 equals 9 n2 equals negative 9 n3 equals i times 9 and n4 equals negative i times 9 so the question remains the same which is n power 2 divided by 9 power 2 equals 9 power 2 divided by n power 2. So let's start when n equals 9. This is very obvious. We are going to have 9 power 2 divided by 9 power 2. And this equals 9 power 2 divided by 9 power 2. 9 power 2 divided by 9 power 2, we have 1. And this equals 9 power 2 divided by 9 power 2, we have 1. So this is very simple. Now let's check when n equals negative 9. 
you have n equals negative 9. You make use of the same equation, n power 2, you power by 9 power 2, equals 9 power 2, you power by n power 2. You substitute negative 9 for n. You have negative 9 raised to the power of 2, you power by 9 power 2, equals 9 power 2, you power by negative 9 raised to the power of 2. So what we can do at this point is, if you have negative raised to the power of 2, which is an even number, you are going to have positive. So you are going to be with 9 power 2 divided by 9 power 2 equals 9 power 2 divided by negative again raised to the power of 2 is positive, we have 9 power 2. So 9 power 2 comes from 9 power 2, we have 1 equals 9 power 2 comes from 9 power 2, we have 1. Left hand side equals right hand side or right hand side equals left hand side. That also is correct. So let's consider when n equals i times 9. We are now entering into the complex solutions. So we have n power 2 divided by 9 power 2 equals 9 power 2 divided by n power 2. So we have i times 9, that is n raised to the power of 2, divided by 9 power 2 equals 9 power 2 divided by this will be i times 9 raised to the power of 2. Now from here, I can simply have i power 2 times 9 power 2, distributing this exponent to each of the terms here. Divided by 9 power 2 equals 9 power 2. Divided by this is i power 2 times 9 power 2. So from here, Consider this identity if you have square root of negative 1, this equals i. If you take these squares on both of, of the part of this, we are going to have negative 1 equals i power 2, right? So that means this equals negative 1, and this equals negative 1. So what we are going to have is negative 1 times 9 power 2 divided by 9 power 2 equals 9 power 2 divided by negative 1 times 9 power 2. So from here, you multiply this out, you have negative 9 power 2 divided by 9 power 2 equals 9 power 2 divided by negative 9 power 2. So this cancel this, you have negative 1 equals this cancel this, you have 1 over negative 1. So from here, you have negative 1 equals 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. Left hand side and right hand side are the same. Okay. Finally, let's consider when n equals negative i times 9. So you make use of the same identity again, add the same problem, n power 2 divided by n power 2 equals 9 power 2 divided by n power 2. We substitute this for n. We have negative i times 9 raised to the power of 2 divided by 9 power 2 equals 9 power 2 divided by negative i times 9 raised to the power of 2. So from here, I distribute the powers again to each of the terms. So I'm going to have negative i power 2 times 9 power 2 divided by 9 power 2 equals 9 power 2 divided by negative i power 2 times 9 power 2. So at this particular point, let's get back to this particular identity. Square root of negative 1 equals i, you turn the squares, that means negative 1 equals i power 2. Now this is i power 2. i power 2 here is negative 1 on its own. i power 2 here is negative 1 on its own. But there's negative again. There's negative again, so you have negative times negative 1 times 9 power 2 divided by 9 power 2 equals 9 power 2 divided by negative times negative 1 times 9 power 2. Negative times negative, this is positive. We have 9 power 2 divided by 9 power 2 equals this is 9 power 2 divided by negative times negative, positive. 1 times 9 power 2, we have 9 power 2. So from here, 9 power 2 comes with 9 power 2, we have 1 equals 9 power 2. Comes with 9 power 2, we have 1. Left hand side equals right hand side. So at this particular point, 
you can say that all the four solutions have satisfied the equations, the equation, or the four solutions have satisfied the equation. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.